Here's some health news. Uh, this week, I don't know if you heard, a government panel is recommending that all adults, all adults be screened for depression, especially pregnant women and postpartum women. So with us to explain more what this means, Abby Bird, she's a psychotherapist and licensed clinical uh, social worker. Abby, good morning, thank you for being here. Good morning, my pleasure. Uh, you know, when we look across the board and stuff that we even cover in the news uh, today, and we talk a lot about mental health issues and, and depression, mm -hmm. uh, we talk about a lot. Why are we hearing about this screening now? Um, so, well, it's not that all of a sudden more people have depression. What I think what it means is it's actually a success for us. It means that now there's more awareness that this is an issue and that it is affecting a lot of people and it is on the same level as primary care. So it was already there, the depression was oh, yeah. there, oh, and yeah. we just weren't talking about it. Oh, exactly. Depression is something that you hide. You don't really want to air your dirty laundry and let people know. There's still st stigma around it and, and embarrassment. Okay, let's talk about it now. So our friends are home, they're eating their breakfast, Mm -hmm. Let's let's have a real conversation about this. The Great. screening that the government panel is asking all adults to do, especially for pregnant women, when you're mm -hmm. currently pregnant and, and postpartum after you have your baby, what are they asking the screening to do? What does it include? Okay, so a screening is basically just a short survey that you take yourself. Typically we use the Edinburgh postnatal screen for, for women, and that's uh, about 10 questions. It's okay. easy questions you answer on yourself with pen and paper. And then for all adults, we use something called the Patient Health Questionnaire, and that's just nine questions. If you want to see them, I have them on my website. Okay, we, we we're going to put all that up so people okay. can take the full um, questionnaire. But we have some examples of the questions. Yeah. And I want to go through them because I was a little concerned myself when I was going through this. And even with our, my colleagues in the mm -hmm. newsroom, we're like, well, from the looks of this, all of us may have some form of, of depression. So can we put mm -hmm. some of these questions up? So this is the one for the postnatal depression. What are these, Abby? What are some of the questions that you're looking for? Um, I've been so unhappy that I've had difficulty sleeping. Um, I feel scared, panicky for no good reason. Um, well, we know new moms have stress, and that's right. common. But if it's getting to the point where it's getting in the way of you bonding with your baby, then that's a concern because that can affect the children too. Okay, so you're looking for like extreme answers for this, right? Well, of course, it's a spectrum. Like you said, almost all of us have stress. Almost all of us feel overwhelmed. Almost all of us have periods of mild depression in our life. What we're really trying to get at and have early intervention is when someone has clinical depression. And also, I want to warn people, you yes. take those surveys, you're like, oh my God, I have depression. I know, I took it this morning <laughs> and I said, I'm depressed. So just because you score high on a scale doesn't automatically mean you have a diagnosis. But what it does mean is it might be a good idea to talk more with someone. Okay. So the screens are not diagnosis. Okay. Can we look at some of the questions for the all adults? I, yeah. I got it with the pregnancy because I think I read somewhere that pregnancy is not neck down. It's really a whole body thing. Yeah. So there's so many things changing. Mm -hmm. But for all adults, these are some of the questions. Um, you know, maybe you at home, you can try to answer some of these. Abby, what are these? Some of the two very common, common ones is just feeling depressed, feeling down but also not enjoying the things that you used to once enjoy is, is really a big sign of depression is if you just don't really have the motivation to do things that you used to find were fun. Okay and then feeling down not being able to fall asleep as you I again mm -hmm. when I go through these questions overall I can think just about every person is going to rank something on, on this just because of the way that we live our lives recently no? Of course of course. Okay what are some of the risks and um, the factors of depression. How does it affect okay. people that we may not know? Okay, well one thing that the, the panel really wanted to highlight is that depression is one of the leading causes of disability for adults 15 and older. And so what that means is that there are, I think they said like $23 billion spent in treating it, $23 billion a year in lost wages from depression. And so if depression isn't treated, and again what we want to do is we want to recognize it earlier. Because if we treat it earlier and catch it earlier, our prognosis is better. We're going to get better easier easier and faster. How do you treat depression? Well, that's, that's, I'm glad you asked. So the panel's recommendations, we're recommending screening because there's not really any risk to the screen. It's not gonna stress someone out too much just to take the screen. And then the, the treating depression, most experts agree that mild to moderate depression responds really well to talk therapy, and there really aren't side effects or any downsides to talk, talk therapy. therapy. That's just sitting down and, and talking mm -hmm. with like a, a therapist, a yeah. psychologist? Yep. And then what about all the drugs? I know that um, I actually have a few friends that, uh, that deal with this, and then mm -hmm. drugs have always been a, a thing that they're fearful of. I don't want to mm -hmm. take drugs to, mm -hmm. to be able to control that. So how does that play a factor well, in it? We look at the risks and the benefits, and so we do acknowledge that there are some side effects associated with psychiatric medication. However, when you have moderate to severe, especially severe depression, 
Um, really, the, the best way to get better fastest is the combination of talk therapy and medication. And yes, there may be some side effects, but the, the risk of not treating depression may be worse. And so it's a case-by-case -case basis for each person, their own, their own preferences. It's a conversation for them to have with their healthcare provider. We've been talking a lot about pregnant women this week, mm -hmm. first with the Zika virus and the travel warning out mm -hmm. for pregnant women. And now with this, why are pregnant women more susceptible to depression even during their pregnancy? I've heard about it postpartum depression, mm -hmm. which I also heard the lack of sleep is one of the biggest causes of it. Absolutely. But why during pregnancy? Um, well, like you talked about, it's your whole body. There's a lot of hormones. And then there's just a lot of stress going on. If you um, have additional risk factors, if you um, don't have enough social support, if it was an unplanned pregnancy, if you don't have a supportive partner, um, if you have childcare stress, if you, you, I know it can be so hard for people to find the right childcare provider. Um, there's so much more stressors going on, and so of course it's natural that that's gonna start to affect you. And I think from what I'm hearing from you, and maybe this is connecting with people at home, if you are in that situation at mm -hmm. all, there are resources out there to be able to help you. Yes, and I'm so glad we're talking about this. One of, one of the concerns about the panel's recommendations is that women especially are still gonna be afraid to speak up. Um, there's still some fear that, well, if I tell my doctor how I'm feeling, they're going to take my kids away. And that really isn't the case for most people. It's just starting to have this conversation and know you're not going to be judged. This is, this is common. This is normal. But it can get better. Yeah, because nobody wants to. Even an adult, if you're not pregnant, you don't want to go and tell anybody that I'm, I'm dealing with depression. Uh, Abby, this is really good stuff. Thank you for, for being here. And we'll get those questionnaires. I think we already have them up on our website. Okay. So if you want to do them yourself. And then once mm -hmm. they do them, what do they, you have to take it to your doctor? Or where do you? take that um, so if if you do score high and you are concerned a great place to start is just your own primary care doctor okay and you can also find find a therapist yourself through your insurance or on your own okay so we'll start there we'll get the questionnaires up for you Abby thank you for being here FoxSizeSanDiego.com. Mm -hmm. click the little seat on tab and it'll get you hooked up time now for your morning weather powered by Jerome's dream shop ladies I have, I have a quick question I don't know if you can answer Okay, we'll try to answer. Okay, I'll just ask it, see what, what happens. Okay. Um, what if you don't have insurance? What if you don't have what if any you don't money have to insurance? spare? What oh. if you don't have the money? Where do you go? Okay, that's a great question. For Well, the County of San Diego does provide clinics that are at a low cost. Um, many of these clinics will help people um, enroll for insurance, or there are some services that are provided. Um, another great place if you just want top counseling is to find a graduate training program. Ooh. And so we have so many great graduate programs in San Diego oh, yes, where yes. we're training psychologists, clinical social workers, marriage and family therapists. And so um, by going to see someone who's a graduate student, you're still finding someone who has great training um, and oftentimes they're even more motivated to help you mm -hmm. and to find a good connection and so that can be a, a really good way to save some money too. Good question. Did that answer it? Wonderful. Yes, yeah. it did. Thank <laughs> you. Well done. Okay. Very nice. Lots of resources for everyone.